All right, what's good, y'all? It's like entertainment with the man Chiba Reba. Yo, we out here at Penn State Brandywine. We're on this park, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> We're on our way to Acme. What's that? We're on our way to Acme. We're about to, you know what I'm saying, cut this man's hair. It's gonna be an interesting thing. I'm trying to get a temper taper. So, it's gonna be fun. All right, so basically, I'm just getting some cleaning supplies, you know, at Acme for the haircut. Just trying to make sure I got all the supplies necessary for this man. It's been a minute. I'm not gonna lie, it's been like a couple months since I cut some hair. Like, I used to um, give this guy shape up. He was making bank, dog. I'm not gonna lie, dog. Like, you were making a shit ton of money. Just like coming people's hair. That was pretty, that was pretty cool. Just like watching them get the cut and shit. Like, seeing the like before after pics. That was pretty tough. Yeah, like I used to have a haircutting business that I'd do with um, Penn State Altoona. And it was pretty lit. You know, I had a lot of uh, clients coming in from like Pittsburgh and some people from like, Florida and Philly. And it was a really cool thing going on. Once I got here, there wasn't much clientele because I guess people just like to go to 69th Street to get their cuts. And a lot of people make sense why they do that though. Because you're right here and you have, the, you have better quality in your charge class, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's like the same thing but for less. Exactly. Especially if they're like, they don't have too much time to like spare. I do all the way down to 69th Street. You spend like two hours. Not even two hours. Like three hours. It's like going all the way down there. Just like 40 minutes or something. But yeah, as um, Jibri was saying earlier, yeah, a lot of people don't really, aren't really trying to get cuts on campus here. Like they're really just trying to go to 69th Street. Doesn't even make sense. Though. They're wasting more time. You know, they're killing trying to get from here to 69th Street. Then getting a cut that's like 40 minutes plus, 30 to 40 minutes plus, then they're going all the way back. They killed like four hours, three hours maybe. Whereas you could just get it from the catch and be charged less, and then still be on campus. You're gonna be at the comfort of campus, you know? Exactly. You're gonna have to like get your hands dirty just to get a cut. It doesn't really make any sense, man. And it gives the same quality type haircuts, if not better. So <laughs> I'm getting the air, like, it's, it's, it'd be a bad business plan if we just like went all the way to Philly. Exactly. Like going to so one thing I'm thinking of, it depends on if she is or favorite. But um, I'm thinking of maybe doing like a haircut um, video. Kind of like some stuff that you see from like 360 Jeezy or like maybe Nick Wavy or like Strictly Steel, Barbershop, any, any of those like, you know, any of those cool people. Like, I'm just trying to do like an in the dorms type thing. Show what it's like in college life. Just try it out once. I don't know. I can't really say that it would be like a whole, you know, series because, the, as I said, the demand isn't really there right now. And not a lot of people actually know that I cut hair. So, well, yeah. Let's see what happens later. So. By the way, would you be down with that? Be recording? Yeah, that ass, man. Go for it, man. You never did a haircut video yet. Yeah. Like I've only ever done like snippets. Yeah. Right. So we're out here, you know what I'm saying, Granny Run Mall Center, about to go into Acme. Yeah, this is the backdrop. I don't know why you don't come to this store often and then like decide to go to Walmart instead. I it's honestly like, don't know. I just keep going to Walmart and taking yeah. that stupid bus, that 110, man. Does it's anybody even itself. like go to this store? If I'm brandy, well, it seems like nobody does. No one like, talks about it. They don't yeah, talk about Walmart. Walmart. In there, the entrance. Ah, oh, dang. All right. Yeah, they only talk about Walmart though. When you're just like, it's just like a walk away, so. Yeah. Yep, this is it. A lot of people can't take that state. <laughs> <laughs> I've had the toughest guys oh, in the man. chairs, yo. I've had the toughest guys in the chairs. Was like, ah, ah. One guy just jumped out. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the boy just looked like he was crying. <laughs> Yo, one guy was like, oh, I haven't felt that in a minute. What's his name again? I don't. Uh, I think it was like, nah, I can't name drop. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that was pretty funny. All right, so we got the rum and alcohol. You know what I'm saying? So we're good to go. We are good to go. Let's get this cut on the road in three, two, one. This is what it's looking like. This is the before. How long have you been growing out your hair? Shit, that was like. Remember that one time we went to the barber shop, Jay Lee the barber? Yeah. That was like back in late July, mid to late July. Yeah. So it's been like how many? How long is it? <laughs> that's <laughs> like that's like almost a month, right? We're Dang. still we're still in August, so like that was like 
a month now, I believe. So I've been growing it out for a month. I didn't really notice when it started growing, but like I started like putting shea butter and shit like that. And that's when I really started like actually seeing the results. When it's really say results, but it's like a, just a little progress. I started noticing the sides were coming out more and they're actually trying to lock up. My hair itself was trying to like free form again. So I was like, I had like strings and shit, remember? And yeah. I had to like chop off. So they're trying to free form like without me even doing anything. So that just shows like my hair texture. Yeah. Or, or having locks definitely like trained my hair to like have more curl patterns than before. So that's pretty tough though. It was under the locks like that I used to have. Like I had an afro under there which sounds, which is pretty weird. Like that's not really common with free forms, I guess. Basically it just like somehow trained my hair to like be more stronger and have like better texture. My hair now has better texture than I used to. And in case you guys didn't know, he actually had free forms um, before this. Mm -hmm. So he recently cut them off and yeah, he's trying to, you know, grow the fro out and he eventually wants to go back to free forms. But right now he's trying to rock the temple taper yep. and, you know, see how that look fits for him you know and here's a brief 360 all right so as y'all can see this is how it's looking like right now yeah so basically he doesn't want me to touch the beard he's trying to grow it out so i'm basically gonna go from about you know right here to at the beginning of the beard and i'm not gonna go any further and uh, you tell him about minoxidil Nah. All right, so like, it's this product where like, so you basically grow hair in like a couple months just using this like product. I wish I brought the formula with me, but it's called Minoxidil. It's like some like liquid that you just put on your beard or any like any bald spot, and it grows out your hair. Like it basically forces hair follicles to come out of your like skin, even if you like you don't have the genetics to grow a beard. You could like reverse that shit and like put it on your beard. A couple months ago. <clears throat> <laughs> so a couple of months ago, right? I didn't have any fucking like any sideburns like whatsoever. I didn't have any of this shit. Didn't really have the connectors, whatnot. So I started using minoxidil though, like in, in like two months, three months, like I started getting these hairs. So five months down the line, this shit's probably gonna be full. So that shit definitely helped out, especially for like for people who didn't start off with sideburns for some odd reason. So that shit's definitely like a go-to if you're trying to grow out a beard and whatnot or like filling the like bald spots. So brief viewing of my equipment, you know, I got the wall cordless clippers, got the wall detailers, you <laughs> know. This looks like a BDSM, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this is what this guy looks oh, like right now. This shit look I forgot my cape bro. at home, you know what I'm saying? I look like Dragon Ball Z with the fucking battle armor. Bruh. Alright, let's get into the cut in three. Two, one.
right, guys. So I just finished the cut. Um, let me give him the mirror and then let's see his reaction. Oh, shit. What the fuck? God damn. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 shit, oh, shit, yo, time out, time out, bro, bro, I'm done, dude, this is the fuckboy style, oh, shit, well, I can't call it a fuckboy style, because that just be, like, I just be blowing my cover, but you know what I mean, <laughs> Boy, if you don't get <laughs> God damn, yo, this joint is fresh as fuck, my bro. And then if you like use the curl sponge, right? Bro, you got like Super Saiyans already. What the fuck? You want to... Um, damn, man. Damn. Yo, I, you do not disappoint, bro. You do not disappoint. Let me give them I a 360. I swear, people are sleeping on you with the haircut shit. <laughs> like, I swear. Thanks, dog. Sense, man. Let's give them a 360. God so, damn, man. So, this is what it's looking like. You know what I'm saying? The fade. Pretty interesting fade. I've never faded him before, actually. I've always gave him a shape up for um, his I dreadlocks. Like, yeah, what the back's looking like. Before? Not you. Oh, wow. I've only ever given you like shape ups when you had. Um, oh, the fro, the fro right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. I just gave, if you guys are wondering what that is, I just did the alcohol. Still hasn't dried up in that spot. Well, yeah. This is what it's looking like. No spray, no extra stuff. Because I believe that actually, if you guys have been watching my Ugh. videos, that stuff actually kills your your hair growth. Oh, it's not good for your... You yeah, like the, the spritz? No, not the spritz, the, oh. um, the freshener. Freshener? Or like, nah, the, you know the... Oh, the, 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 the spray, sheen, right? the oil sheen. Yeah, that shit. Yeah, if you wow. guys are watching this and you guys are trying to, you know, grow your hair out, do not get your hair sprayed like that, you know. It's definitely bad. There's harmful chemicals in there. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right, guys, I just finished the cut, you know. How do you like the cut? So this shit was fresh as fuck, man. I don't know how Ukechi does it. He's a master at this shit. I don't understand anybody who would go all the way to freaking, like, Upper Darby just to get a cut. <laughs> I'm losing the train of thought right now, but it's like, basically, you're doing the same quality haircut, if not better, and you're charging less. And, like, people are still stopping you to, like, go, like, an hour out. The upper Darby to get a cut. It just doesn't make any sense, man. Like, this, this shit is fucking phenomenal. This is probably the best cut I ever got. <laughs> like, I never got a temp fade from you at all. Or a taper fade. Yeah. And, like, this is my first time, so this is fucking lit. I've gotten taper fades from other people, but, like, it was not as good as this one. I'm gonna be honest, man. It's crazy. Yeah. Yep. So, tomorrow's his first day of school. You know, I just said I have to. I'm just trying to make some time, make him look fresh for the first day. You know? You can't go to school without a fresh test. University represent. Shit gonna be lit, my nigga. I swear. All right, guys, that's it for this video. If you like this video, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure to subscribe to both of our channels. Links will be down below in this oh, video. Oh, the thing. That's right. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> Links will be down below in this video. We'll also leave the names of our channels down below. You know, Cheap Ball, Cheap Ariba on Facebook, Instagram. You already know. Also, make sure to turn on post notifications to so never miss a video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.